He led an expedition in 1527 to search for new lands in the South Sea that he charted various islands and atolls, including the Marshall Islands and the Carolines that he is Alvaro de Saavedra Siren. In 1527, Hernán Cortés, the famous Spanish conquistador, commissioned his cousin Alvaro de Saavedra Siren to lead an expedition. Although the official purpose was to search for the missing fleet of the Loaiza expedition, the true objective was to find new lands in the Pacific Ocean and bring back spice plants. On October 31, 1527, Saavedra and his crew set sail from Zahuatneo, Guerrero. After sailing 1170 leagues, the ships Espiritu Santo and Santiago were swept away by a sudden squall on December 15 and were never seen again. On December 29, the remaining ship, La Florida, sighted the Uteric Toque Atoll complexes in the Marshall Islands, followed by the Rong Lapalangini Atolls on January 1, 1528. These islands were jointly charted as Islas de los Reyes. On February 2, 1528, the La Florida reached the Philippines and anchored at a small island off the north coast of Mindanao after 95 days and 1923 leagues of sailing. On March 30, they arrived at Tidor, a Spanish stronghold in the Moluccas, where they joined the men remaining from the Loaiza expedition to fight the Portuguese in neighboring Ternate. To fulfill their instructions and provide assistance to the Spaniards in Tidor, Saavedra set sail for New Spain on June 14, 1528. On June 24, they discovered the Scouten Islands and landed on Yapen, charting them as Islas de Oro and Payne Island, respectively. They continued along the coast of western New Guinea and on August 15, discovered the Admiralty Islands, landing on Manus, which they charted as Uris La Grande. They then sailed north and discovered the Nomoy Islands in the Carolines. However, the northeast trade winds diverted their course back to the Moluccas, and they returned to Tidor on November 19, 1528. On May 3, 1529, Alvaro de Saavedra embarked on a second journey, exploring the western part of New Guinea and reaching Manus. They then headed north and discovered Pompey and Ant in the Carolines on September 14. On September 21, they discovered Yujlang Atoll in the Marshalls, which they named Los Pintados due to the tattooed inhabitants. On October 1, they discovered an Uatec Atoll, named Los Jardines, for its beauty and friendly inhabitants. Unfortunately, Saavedra passed away, and Pedro Lasso assumed command. They sailed north up to 31N but did not find favorable winds. Following the death of Lasso, they decided to turn the ship around and return to the Moluccas, arriving near Tidor on December 8, 1529. There, they were captured by the Portuguese, remaining in captivity for five years. In 1534, the surviving eight members of the crew returned to Spain. The expeditions led by Alvaro de Saavedra Siren have had a profound impact on the world, expanding European knowledge of the Pacific Ocean and its islands. His voyages contributed to the growing understanding of the vastness of the world and the exploration of new lands. Alvaro, a Spanish explorer, embarked on an expedition across the Pacific Ocean. In search of a new trade route, his journey led him from Mexico to the shores of Zahuatneo, Guerrero. With the Pacific as his guide, Alvaro sailed further west, navigating through the vast expanse of the ocean. As he ventured on, Alvaro's crew sighted land to the north on November 28, 1527, approximately in the longitude of Hawaii. Excitement and curiosity filled the ship as they approached the unknown land. However, despite their efforts, the crew was unable to find the land again after a two-day search. This sighting, shrouded in mystery, left questions as to whether Alvaro and his crew had indeed encountered the Hawaiian Islands. During their voyage, Alvaro's expedition faced challenges and encountered other islands along their path. The crew heard tales of white people arriving in the islands, generations ago, who were welcomed by Chief Wakalana. It is possible that these visitors were crew members from Alvaro de Saavedra's expedition, leaving a lasting impression on the Hawaiian oral tradition. As the expedition continued, Alvaro and his crew sailed onward, exploring the Marshall Islands, Mindanao, Tidor, Moluccas, Ternate, Scouten Islands, Yapen, New Guinea, Admiralty Islands, Manus, Nomoy Islands, Carolines, Pompey, Ant, Yujlang Atoll, and Uatak Atoll, and Halmahura. Their journey was marked by encounters with diverse cultures and the discovery of new lands. Alvaro de Saavedra Siren's expedition paved the way for future explorations, leaving a lasting impact on the history of Pacific exploration. The possibility of his encounter with the Hawaiian Islands remains a topic of intrigue and speculation, adding to the rich tapestry of exploration in the Pacific. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.